Shalom. Call Lord by Shemel Shai by Shemakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Much respect to the brothers out there that's preaching this word in the truth and sincerity and the brothers and sisters that's out there listening and learning. Say Shalom. Uh, pretty much I saw this the other day. You know, if it's true, you know, that's why we warning our people, man. You need to come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahshah, or the Most High will take you out. All right? So a lot of these uh, um, these actors, these high high paid Hollywood actors, you know, pretty much a lot of them was on the down low. You see uh, Will, Will Smith's son. You know, sometimes your son, pretty much your son, it, it is raised up in the way that, that you are. He's a spinning image of you. All right. So, you know, uh, uh, these these high pay actors, they, they on the down low. And, and and the Lord says this, if you on the down low. You get taken out. All right. The most high has to take you out. So this is pretty much uh, what's, what's happening. You know, yeah, how about Shimei Al-Shah is, is plaguing. You know, eventually what you're going to see in the future when Jacob Trouble comes, especially a lot of these Hollywood actors, they're going to be taken out, man. They're either going to be taken out through Jacob's Trouble or through these uh, nuclear missiles. Either way, the Most High is going to be taking them out or by the men of the Lord. All right. Because these people ain't really nothing to look up to. All right. These people ain't nothing to look up to. We got our standard to look up to. All right, and that's your how about Shimei al you know. He lived his life perfect so he can be an example for us to live our life perfect. And then he set up men, all right, he set up men to teach us and to follow them as well. All right, to set, he set them up as an example of who to be, you know, be on fire on this truth. Because if you're not watching, man, I, I see the apostles and elders, man, they, they pretty much post a video up every day. Two or three videos up every day. Four videos. You know, they stay far on this truth and out there on the highways and byways preaching this word. So that's how you're supposed to be in this truth, on fire. All right? On fire. Keeping that candle lit. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, y'all by shooting me outside sees that you're worthy to escape the plagues that is coming through Jacob's trouble. Because it's going to be horrible, man. We out here to warn you. You know, this is lessons for myself and, and, and for you other brothers and sisters that's out there listening and learning, man. You know, it's, it's, it's not a joke, man. It's not a joke what's coming. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get into my first scripture. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17, the classic. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth at my mouth and give them warning for me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will cry at thine hand. All right. So we can go into this chapter, you know, the watchmen, the watchmen, the, the watchmen are uh, set up to let Israel know to come back to the law, statutes and commandments. And if not, you're going to be taken out. You're going to be taken out. All right. If he doesn't warn you, you're going to be taken out and he's going to be taken out. But if he warns you and you don't comply. All right. If you don't comply, you're going to be taken out. But he did his job by warning you. Now, there's some brothers in this thing, man. I don't know how you can be in this thing for, for years, learn this Bible, even teaching online here and there, and, and not be out here preaching his word. Now, me, I don't understand that. But, hey. You know, the deceived and the deceiver is both his. So if they think they're good doing that and not following, you know, the commandments that to tell you to go out there and preach this word, hey, you're going to be taken out, brother. All right, you're going to be taken out. 
plain and simple. All right. So for a lot of these Hollywood actors, like I said, they on the download or outright, you know, doing out in, in front, you know, doing all these sexual wicked acts. So for that, this is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. The blood shall be upon them. So yeah, man, you, you supposed you supposed to be put to death for these wicked acts. Like I said, um, a lot of times how you get up high in Hollywood, you got to give us some ass, all right? You get humiliated, humiliated by the so-called white man, all right? And you give up your ass, man, just so you can get that paycheck, man. And these are clowns. These are fools. You know, I'm glad you how about seeing me outside woke me up to this truth. You know, we, we all could have been striving to get that money. And some of us could have found out the hard way, you know. Hey, this Hollywood thing ain't, ain't what it's cracked up to be. All right. And I'm glad I found that up. Because, man, you know, this, this, this place, this is not your rest. All right. This place will destroy you. I believe that's in Micah. All right. This place is not your rest. This is the time of mourning. This is the time of getting back to your house by streaming outside, keeping his commandments. All right. And hopefully that he sees us worthy to be a, to be the elect. And that's what I'm hoping, man, that, that I'm of the elect, and that my brothers that's working hard in this thing. They of the elect, too. All right. So we got to keep on pushing on. All right, our, our time in this kingdom, it's, this ain't our time in this kingdom. Our kingdom is coming. All right, this is a wicked-ass kingdom. You don't want your consolation here. You want your consolation in the kingdom where you have all the riches, all the glory, all right, and you have that superpower. That's nothing that you can get here. All right, so this is Proverbs 11 to 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness Deliver it from death. Alright. So you in this thing, you on fire. You're trying to please you how about see me outside. You of the righteous. And, and hopefully, you know, you how about see me outside. We have mercy on us. But if you out here trying to get this money, alright, that ain't gonna profit you when you how about see me outside sends these plagues to come destroy this place. Alright. So this is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, will do all these things. So with Will Smith having this uh, uh, precancerous disease or whatever, Yahweh, I see me outside, I put that on him. All right. And there's going to be a lot more coming, a lot more evil, a lot more plagues coming to this world. All right. Stay fast in this thing, man. All right, so this is Amos 9 and 10. All the sins of my people shall die by the sword. All right? So like I said, man, you you not of the elect. You of that two-third. You're going to be taken out, man. Either by that nuclear missile, you're going to die by the sword of Yahweh by Shemi outside. Die by the sword of Esau, Edom. Or, or by the man of the Lord. All right? Most I ain't playing with you. All right? So this is Jeremiah 11 and 11. Like I said, we, we out here to warn you. Warn you. Like I said, I'm warning myself. And I'm out here warning you, each other, man. You know. Make sure you, you stay on fire on this thing, man. All right. So this is Jeremiah 11 and there, 11. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape. That's what's coming. <clears throat> you Jacob's trouble. You're not of the elect. You're not going to be able to escape this, man. No matter if you cry unto Yah by Shemi outside. All right. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. So that's what's going to happen, man. You're going to cry to the Lord, Lord, oh God, oh Jesus. He ain't going to hear you. Because a lot of these people in the world don't even know his real name, which is Yahweh Bashimi outside. 
Yahweh will be in the Father, which means he is or he exists by Hashem in the name. Yahweh Shah is the Son. Means he's the Savior. He saves. All right. So he ain't going to hear y'all cries out there, man. So that's why we out here warning you. You know, stay fast in this thing, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is Revelation 13 and 16. This is the mark of the beast. All right. Which a lot of you Hollywood people, they're going to be taking. If not, they already took it already. All right. If not, if they already taken it. And if you take it, you're going to be destroyed. All right. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right. So, like you said, it said small or great, rich or poor. All right. Will Smith is small, uh, uh, rich in this kingdom. He's most, li most likely is going to take that mark. All right. And when he does that, you how about Shimi outside? You know, he got his soul marked. All right. If Will Smith don't repent, the most high is going to take that man out. But most likely these celebrities ain't, ain't going to repent. All right. I'm going to continue. And that no man, my bio cell. Save that he had the mark, had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him have understanding. Count the number of the beast for his of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. All right. That's six, six, six. So, yeah, man, these 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 Jake's out here, these two thirds, they're going to take the mark. These Edomites, they're going to take that mark. These rich people, they're going to take that mark. You know, you you seen you, a lot of our people, they they seen that video where that whistleblower pretty much told told what the uh, high banking family wants to do to this world. They want to have everybody chip. Here they are. They got all this power, all this money. But they want you to be as sheep, as cattle, to keep track on you. You take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. And how about Shimmy outside is going to destroy this place regardless, man? All right, so this is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with a fire in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and fury and his rebuke of flame. So this is Yahweh Shai coming, all right, with his chariots, the so called UFOs. All right, he's coming down as an angelic, be angelic being, all right, with that power. For by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right? He's coming down to take down these nations. All right? He got a beef with them two-thirds and a beef with all these other nations. All right? They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and an abomination and a mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. All right. So a lot, like I said, a lot of these uh, high paid Hollywood actors, they still out here eating pork. The two thirds, they out here eating pork. Some of them, at least uh, a big majority, they out, they out here eating pork. So they're going to be taken out. All right. So this is Jeremiah 5 and 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob. And publish, publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now, O this, O foolish people. You see, Yahweh Bashim al is calling you foolish people, man. Because y'all won't hearken to the way of Yahweh Bashim al that's going to make you prosperous in this world. Instead, y'all want to be dumb fools. All right? And without understanding, which have eyes to see not, and have ears and hear not, fear ye not. Fear ye not me, save Yahweh. So our people don't don't fear their power. They don't fear Yahweh by seeing me outside. All right, they're gonna find out the hard way that when all these plagues come, they gonna fear them. All right, will ye not tremble at my presence? 
which have a place in the sand of the bound of the sea with a perpetual decree. It cannot pass it and throw the ways, therefore toss themselves. Ye cannot prevail. Though they war, yet they cannot pass over it. All right. So pretty much, you know, our people's going to find out the hard way that they got to fear you how about shim you All right. They got to get that death by pain. All right. So we warning our people, man, get back to the law, statutes, and commandments to you by shim you All right. If you're Native American, Latino, Negro, all right, get back to the ways of y'all about see me outside. If not, you're going to be taken out. So with that, hopefully this was an edifying lesson. Until next time, Lord willing, shalom.